This is the beautiful Blowering Dam in New South Wales. This is Josh Lambert, and Josh, before we go any further, I've got to ask a simple question. Where do I get myself a really cool hat like that? Tackle World Goulburn, mate. That's where I'll be heading after I catch a fish today. Now, I've never fished Blowering, you've never fished Blowering, but you've heard a lot about it. What species are we likely to encounter? Mate, we're likely to encounter Murray Cod, red fin, by the however many you want to catch. Uh, there are trout in here and the good old yellow belly. So there's a whole host of species. I've got a wasp flying around me. The wildlife's amazing. We saw emus, kangaroos, a fox, birds everywhere. Let's go and catch a fish, Josh. Mate, let's do it. Um, do you reckon I could actually shoot you storing it on those hats before sure. we fish? Because that is super cool. <laughs> There's a reddy coming up. He's got 400 mates behind him. There's Lizzie's little, little mates. In fact, that wasn't a redfin, that other one. What have we got going on there? Maybe it is. Look at him, he's hanging around. And that is a beautiful redfin, or English perch, as some people call it, from Blowering Dam. And we were just saying, what a day. The rain has started. You can see I've got the old PFD on to keep warm. But one cast. We're about to have a trial. So I'll just flick this little hardcore lure over there. And you can see, whoop. It looks a bit like a redfin, look at that. And that was my theory, redfin, eat redfin. He ate his mate, and it was the end of his day. And I'm not gonna put him back, because they're a noxious species. Spotters, probably not something I need right now. You can see, we put the hard yards in. And I'm gonna send a call out to Australia. I know I've had a big problem with the drought. If you want your drought broken, just send me an email to ifishtv.com.au. I'll bring the crew, and this is guaranteed to happen. Seriously, the rain is following us everywhere. We drove through up to 800 mil of rain on the Hume Highway yesterday. It set in pretty good, but I'm having a ball. So don't say we don't put in the hard yards on ifish. But I reckon we're with a chance. It still feels pretty good. Josh and I have never fished this dam. We're just using simple principles of fishing to try and find a fish. That is the dam wall, pretty impressive structure. Because it's made of rocks, that is gonna give fish a place to live. So we're trolling as close as we can. We're in 4.9 metres here. I've seen plenty of fish on the sand. We've caught a few small reddies. We're just gonna work up and down this wall until we can try and harass a fish out of its home. Just using traditional techniques, slow troll, getting the lures down. A local just went past. He said, we're in the right place. We've just got to keep trying. So we'll give this a go for a while. If it doesn't work, I've got another little plan we might try. One more thing. What did the redfin say when he swam into the wall? Damn! There's one. Oh, Paul, you've got to be happy with uh, redfin. They are just a great fish to catch. The downside with them is they don't get terribly big. Because they've got a, uh, some sort of fin disease or some sort of disease in the, in the fish itself, it stunts their growth, but they're just in plague proportions. There are so many of them. The beauty of them is they're such a good fish to eat. Oh, you got There's two. two. You got two on Josh. <laughs> got to be happy with that. Look at that. Two on one lure. Josh, you are a talented angler. Hey? <laughs> got to be happy with that. Uh... I said before, Paul, this place is plagued with them, and that's just proven it. We're just going to take this prime opportunity because apparently the weather's going to get really bad soon. We don't want to be out here when that happens. There's fish. Oh, look at that. I got a fish while I was talking to you. What have we got here? <laughs> oh, it's another ready. Yum, yum, 
Well, it doesn't help when you've got weather conditions like this, but it does help if a little bit crazy. Another beautiful redfin, they're only small, and that is a great little salty bait jig. The good news is, the weather's gonna get really bad later today, and I don't wanna be out here when that happens. So I'm gonna keep catching these fish. Graphite rods, not a good look. Thunder and lightning, <laughs> not so exciting. It's actually only stupid now, before it was ridiculous, wasn't it? Oh, without question. Now, we've come off the water, not because we really want to stop fishing, because we love it so much, but it was actually getting dangerous, wasn't it, mate? Yeah, it's a sombering thought, standing out there, holding graphite rods, there's lightning around, you can't see 20 metres for the rain pelting down. Sometimes, you've just got to pull the pin. Safety is always number one, but in amongst all that, you can still have some fun, and Josh has something very special to show you. We couldn't film it, but we can show you the result. That is a cracky yellow belly. Almost worth the pain? Almost. Hang on, Josh. I can't see you under that awesome hat you've got. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be crazy, but it definitely helps. This is Josh from Tackle or Goldwyn. I'm Paul Worsling. This is iFish TV, and we're going to buy an umbrella.